Hi, I'm Jim W6LG or YouTube Elmer with Ham Radio Basics. Welcome to my radio room here in Rockland, California. In preparing a video about station grounding, I went to the extra class exam questions and found one that had to uh, that dealt with station grounding. Seems like an easy thing, but I found one question that covered that and that was the only one I could find. So here's the question. And I'll read the four answers. It's a group E O A, I think is what that is. Safety, RF radiation hazards, hazardous materials, and uh, grounding. The first question E O A 01. And here's the question What is the primary function of an external, external earth connection? Or ground rod. What is the primary function of an external earth connection or ground rod? The four answers are A. Reduce received noise. B. Lightning protection. C. Reduce RF current flow between pieces of equipment. Or D. Reduce RFI, radio frequency interference, to telephones and home entertainment systems. So which of those is the primary function of an external earth connection or ground rod? Well, we'll find out the right answer right after this, and you might be surprised. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf calling CQ, hello CQ. CQ calling CQ, hello CQ. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf. Okay, to read the question again, it, it says, what is the primary function of an external earth connection or a ground rod? And the four answers are receive noise, lightning protection, uh, current flow between equipment boxes, and uh, interference to telephones and home entertainment. And they say the correct answer is B, lightning protection. The primary function of an external ground rod, they say, is lightning protection. I think that maybe I misunderstood the question. I looked up the definition of primary. It means the first or the most important. So the most important function, according to the question, of an external earth connection or ground rod is lightning protection. No. Not even close. And the reason for that is um, a ground rod isn't going to protect you from lightning. Lightning is going to strike and it's going to go pretty much where it wants to go. You can direct some of it away from your equipment, but a lightning uh, ground rod is not going to form a dome over your equipment and protect it from lightning strikes. It does not provide lightning protection. You can divert some of that massive current voltage into the ground away from your equipment, but it's not going to protect your equipment from uh, lightning strikes. So that leaves received noise. Nope. C, current flowing between pieces of equipment. Um, in a way, that's true, but they're saying RF current. And it's a bit of a reach, uh, but maybe the closest answer that's correct. Reduce RF interference to telephones. The ground rod's not going to do that. The idea here is, that's been perpetuated for decades, is that if you drive a, you build a station, you drive a rod outside, you run a ground wire, usually it recommends number six, and you tie that to your equipment and any... RF in the radio room is going to be captured and taken to ground. RF is going to flow into the ground. What am I getting at? The primary function of a ground rod is electrical safety. And if you have a relatively new house uh, and you look at the main electrical panel, usually it's on the outside. If you've got a basement, you may have a, an external meter socket and a panel, electrical panel inside the basement. And that's tied to a grounding conductor, a ground conductor. If it's on the outside, 
the conductor comes out of, usually out of the bottom of the electrical panel and it connects to a common point ground so that telephone is grounded to that if you have uh, cable TV it's grounded to that if even if you have satellite TV as we did here they ground to that too so everything is tied to that ground including your station um, so that's part of the national electric code that many jurisdictions have adopted yours may have a variation of that it may have something that's very different but the national electric code wants everything to go back to the main panel um, by everything i mean the hot the neutral and the ground wires all lead back to the main panel if it's a 220 outlet or a sub panel there is an exception if the sub panel is on a separate building if it's on the main building um, there are four wires that will go back to the main panel from that sub panel it'll be the neutral and then each side of neutral to get the 240 volts and the ground and they all go back my ground my panels that way they all go back to the electrical panel the most important function of a ground rod is to provide that grounding for the electrical system because the if there's a pole out in front of your house which there was at our old location or if you've got a transformer in your front yard which is what we have here it has a ground rod so that there is a connection between that electrical panel and the ground rod at the transformer sometimes called a pole pig or a pig because it's so big that's the primary function of a ground rod or external earth connection the whole question i i find a fault with because it says external earth connection is there an internal earth connection i don't think so um, ground rod many houses do not have a driven ground rod of the houses i'm familiar with very few of them have a driven ground rod if they were built i think within the last 10 uh, let's say from the 80s to uh, the year 2000 roughly they have an ufer u-f-e-r ufer ground and what that is is it's a number three rebar uh, bent in the shape of an l the top of the l uh, it's laid on its side and the top of the l comes out of the stem wall or out of the slab foundation that number three or larger rebar is tied wrapped to the the um, rebar that makes up the foundation it could be a, a couple in the footing and a couple in the stem wall it could be uh, a grid pattern that's in a concrete slab uh, they may be two feet on center and that ufer ground rod connects to that the part that sticks out then is where the common point ground comes in so the ufer sticks out of the stem wall and there's a box usually below the electrical panel and everything is grounded to that how do i know that <laughs>